Here we go. Nice. Round two. Okay, I think this is uh, this might be a League of Vampires game. Not sure. Uh, not League of Vampires, but AOE Leagues by Farman. Beowulf entitled this How to Huang. Which could be either a massive Titanic or a masterpiece by Beowulf. Who knows? We simply just don't know yet. But the immediate look at things here. Teal player, two freaking back golds here for the Vikings player. Look at this map for the Vikings. Wall here. Wall here, wall, hmm. and maybe here to the edge of the map, and you have the best fucking map ever with three safe golds inside, and the only thing stopping you is maybe the old area. Yeah, I think Beowulf needs to rush past cattle of his of this if he has any hopes to go go Huang style rush here. Yeah, I'm in the tournament as well, or suck. I'm in. Um, I'm in um, Division E, I think, in the uh, AOE Leagues 1v1 tournament. Yeah, so beautiful map for the Vikings. The walls should not, not stop Mighty Huang Master Siege. Oh, that one said it. He has a point there. But we'll see what Beowulf does here. In, in all fairness, Beowulf has a decent map as well. Back gold, back berries. Less exposed to Vikings and Russian and arms here. And then the sides. Yeah, main gold. Possibly within potential walls here. And the side gold here, just horrible right next to a hill. But we'll see how this plays out. Kelts very strong all in sim for Beowulf for sure. No. Probably scouts fight. Let's see for Beowulf here. Win. Yeah, I think a foot bike with Builder or something. I usually Titanic on open maps unless I can get to safe castle and go for the yellow. Yeah. I hate the close maps. It's just guess games and... Uh, and... Rushing the castle and Imperial Ages. I don't like that. I want feudal fighting and... That kind of madness. I like the open maps a lot more. The irony is, is that I am could probably be decent on uh, arena one ones and this kind of thing because I'm a big boomer on old from the MSN Zone.com days. On arena, I never built more than one TC. Oh, okay, you're you're my kind of clown down. I can respect that. Arena is. Uh, Absolutely not my favorite map. I usually ban it, but uh, I've had some good games on Arena as well. <laughs> you got a rush for almost every zip. Okay, so what do you do if you are if you are um, Indians against Italians on Arena? What do you do? Because I had that matchup once, I always go random. So that's where it uh, fucks up for me sometimes. And that was, I was just demotivated from the very start. <laughs> Ooh, that's a drush pest in the middle here, but uh, not Chiquito Teal Scout is on point here. Beowulf just moves forward to go for the Berit of not Chiquito. Ah, oh, right, you could open Cav Archers with uh, Indians, that's true actually. That's true, actually. I never think about those. So here's the issue. Not Chiquito, the, not Ch Chiquito, the teal player, uh, has to hit the back berries of Beowulf here to do some damage or hit the gold or whatnot. 
whereas uh, Beowulf is on the front side with the militia and making life awkward here for Nachi Chiquito and has six militia no less. This is actually, this is good old Huang style here. Power drudge. Couple of militia at home, maybe to defend off here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's uh, doubling up on the militia here. One on gold. This is uh, innovative. No, 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 no. Rip. Dead builder. He's doing original Huang. Except the re original Huang was with Hans, not Celts. Yeah, I can see how um, how Indians would be a good fast imp sims on on arena for the eco, if you especially if you stay one TC and uh, push like that. No, no, rip. Two builders down, but two builders down for Nachichito. On the other side as well, who has lost two builders. No, two units, not two builders. Beowulf has lost two builders. Nachichito has only lost only lost uh, military units. So that puts Beowulf behind in village count here. There are the Vikings player is going to go into the field age, whereas Beowulf is staying dark age for a bit longer and hoping for that fast castle and going to the faster firing Celts siege. Trying to wall here, eh? You should get away that easy. There are five militia in the Vikings base right now. Where's the last one? Ah, he's there. Nice. Killing the deer. Search animal cruelty. Search animal cruelty. One down for Nachi Chiquito as well. Going uh, fleeing back to the TC, here comes the range, but there is no guarantee that Nache Chiquito gets that range up here with uh, the militia on the field here from Beowulf. Beowulf down to 3 militia now and the scout as well at uh, semi below HP. Yeah, the range eventually goes up here, but the damage has been done. Look at the idle eco time here of Nache Chiquito. And then the idle TC time is comparable here between the players, but Beowulf keeps the annoyance up here. And uh, my may or may not have forgotten about the deer hunter up here. I heard someone said the first turn Huang played back in the day was the where Goths infantry had higher discounted dark age. Oh, makes sense actually. That's probably why he likes his dark age militia. Almost a kill there, but they will still with a villager lead here going up to the field age as well now. Eventually, reaching the village should be behind Nache Chiquito if Nache Chiquito keeps the production up here, though. Vikings, archers, Beowulf in the meantime, during all the forward aggression, has been allowed to wall up at home and really long distance hunt the deer here to boost the food income and potentially make a fairly smooth fast castle here with the seven farms and the income from the deer. I think he might have two villagers queued and yeah, this could be a solid head start to the cast age for Celts over uh, Vikings here, which is very good. Uh, given the matchup here, like it's such a boomy, economically strong save. If you can get to the castle before them, it's easier to push. And by the looks of it, Nache Chiquito is committing to a, an extended field edge here with both, with two ranges. Nowhere near that castle edge click. Beowulf even keeps the builder lead here, one builder ahead of Nache Chiquito. Uh, the setback being, of course, that Notch Chiquito gets uh, Wheelbarrow instantly being Vikings and Beowulf at some point needs to or should research it. <gasps> yeah. 
yeah, these archers shouldn't do much. They don't even have fletching. Where's the blacksmith? It's going up just now for that. Hey, Chiquito. And unless he plans for a smooth cast late transition here, uh, Fletching is going to kick in. Perfect, so that's going to delay Notch's uh, cast age even more. Beowulf now only 1 minute 30 seconds to go. And we'll probably be seeing the forward siege workshop and the monastery, maybe even a stable, soon enough here from the Celts. Wait, what the fuck is that tower? What the fuck is that tower? You don't need that. Just wall here. Up here or something, and these fuel launchers are no fair. That power is a waste of stone. I'd sell that, sell that stone for. I'd sell that stone for gold for siege weapons instead. So this remark might come uh, come back and bite me in the ass, but I don't understand this tower. Here come the here come the walls though, in towards TC. So maybe it makes sense, but. It would be so much better on the woodland here, between the woods and golds, to protect both resources here. In the event that the Vikings makes crossbows behind this at some point. Okay, it chases away the archers, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Okay, if I, if I go on, so No idea what that means. I'm not too versed in the Spanish link. Oh, look at the forward siege workshop and the sneak builders. Two of them. This is Huang style indeed. Oh, oh, eh. Weak villager going forward, probably run into a wolf or something. But uh, uh, not ideal, maybe. Is uh, Nach Chiquito gonna see this? Yeah, he is. <laughs> this is the worst hidden siege forward ever, but it still might work because health siege by weapons fire faster, and there's still wood for a monastery or stable as needed. Beowulf has the stables at home, so he's gonna send the knights from long distance, and then probably a monastery forward here to snag the relic and take out some archers. Not Che Chiquito still hasn't clicked the castle. This is disaster against this uh, forward by Celts. Oh, rip. Rip <laughs> forward. Forward builders. You don't need monster when these are this few days. You don't know that. You don't know when they're gonna hit Castle Edge. And it's Vikings eco, so. But the Ford Wilders went down, so rip Wilders and. Bit of a. Sip of the drink for those. Scorpions. Magnals, hopefully as well, soon enough, but the gold income seems a bit on the short side for Beowulf here. Only scorpions for now. This is a Wong 2.5. Wong 2.0 would make manuals with Mile Wong 3.0. 2 would make scorpions rams. But hey, there might still be rams or rams or um, manuals added here. Beowulf with the forward monastery as well means that um, Knight's defense against the siege here won't quite work out for Nacho Chiquito, but Castlage is in and crossbows should be coming in as well. Quite a few archers still to benefit from that upgrade. Yeah, this uh, this version should definitely add Mango plus Corp. Uh, he costs a ram. But you have knights, you have knights and scorpions, and then a ram. It's it's not maybe not half bad. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, it's real. <laughs> I still want to see Magnol though. Vikings with the boom here. Defense is the shot going up. Crossbows. A couple of lucky Magnol shots and these crossbows are history. 
and did just go down. Nice. Solid forward by Beowulf so far. He's gonna snipe builders under the TC as well with the Scorpion's range. Seven range. Matching the TC range. Of oh, outranging the TC actually. And where's the... Alright, ramps again. So we're going to tear down buildings here. Monks here to heal up the knights. There are spears as well so that uh, enemy knights can't eat the engage here. I think not should she get those only hope here is to be... Uh, is to counter-attack with the crossbows here, because they won't do much against the siege here anyway. And Beowulf is going for the make the enemy homeless style strategy here. He's taking out the houses and hoping for the best here that not GG Kito might get housed. Still a while off from that. Here comes a Mangonel and some defensive knights. Vikings knights against Kelts knights. Neither of them have bloodlines, so they are <laughs> roughly as equally strong actually, except that uh, Kelts knights get husbandry, I believe, and Vikings don't. Mangonel should be ripped easily. Well, it's too close to TC. Good reaction by Beowulf there to pull away the monks and the uh, scorpions. So, oh, <laughs> never mind. Oh, F for the monks. I'm gonna need a new drink for that one. Hope I'm not missing too much here. In the meantime, here I pick. Wait, did he just eat the TC? What? So that TC is down, there's two TCs left for Nacho Chiquito, but uh, Nacho Chiquito with the archers forward in the enemy base. And uh, Beowulf has added some uh, resources as well, some uh, TCs as well, but he's being uh, hit by the counter-attack, like I said. Not Chichi Kito's uh, last resort here is to move, move the crossbows forward and counter-attack. And guess what? Beowulf doesn't have any defensive siege at home, so he is going to have big trouble dealing with 20 crossbows in the race. Good thing he has the TCs up, though. He can, um, he can uh, garrison and... Uh, where are these guys going? Oh, they're relocating. Okay. Uh, seems like <laughs> it seems like all of the attention goes to the forward here, and not Chichikito is just completely on point there, following the villager. Uh, how does he see that? How did he see the great villager migration here? Oh boy! Ballistics isn't in, but it's still going to look at serious kills. Here. Look at the eco KD for not show, not Chichikito here. Is one, two, three, four, five. Rip Beowulf Eco, but he's still pushing pretty heavily on enemy base. So I think this is still in Beowulf's favor, but he's going to lose big time. Is this a base trade? Is he going to lure not Chichikito all the way home here into Scorpions and Mangonel Fire? Not Chichikito is at 105 uh, population play. Beowulf, lower population overall than Not Chichikito. If similar military count, but look at the military count. It's actually lower for Beowulf here, who has three minutes more idle TC time than his adversary. He's uh, got some spearmen inside the ramps here and pushing the next TC here with knights to accompany it for the raids. So, um, uh, Not Chichikito can't simply fight up the right uh, ramps with builders here either. That's why you add a complementary unit to contest the melee units that might want to tear your ramps down. Alright, we're taking the enemy gold here. Here's a Mangonel to get a beautiful shot in there, and finally it goes down. Scorpions should move closer to the crossbows, I think, to weaken them further, and the knights might as well pull back here to clean up the rest of the crossbows here. And that's some good Mangonel, um, Scorpion engagement. Nice! Nice! Clean up here from Beowulf. 13 military to 5, and what does Nache Chiquito do from here? He writes some nasty slurs and uh, doesn't write GG at all. 
didn't enjoy much being up against the Celts here. Well played, Beowulf. 